It's because we want to be intellectually rigorous. We're not looking to buy into whatever new age superstition or, you know, the flowery candy of, of the modern yoga movement. And we also don't have um, full capacity to make sense of um uh, all the symbols of yoga becomes they come from a collective unconscious that's outside for most of us outside of our collective unconscious and our 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 own traditions have left us wanting with everything that's been taken from them and the, and the and the inadequate little bits that were given from them so we're, we're we're looking for something real something that we can wrestle with something that has um profundity something that that I can challenge and that I can't overthrow. And that's what we're looking for. We're, we're looking we're looking to confront and wrestle with God where we can't overthrow it. Where we're just after we've done our best to tear it down, it's still standing. And and we have no choice but to reckon with that which still stands. That's what it is. If there's something that I can tear down with my intellect, it's not worthy of me. If I can tear it down with my intellect, if I can tear it down with my body, it is not worthy of me. I'm looking for the thing that stands even through all of my efforts to tear it down. That's the idea of wrestling with God. Yeah, That's the thing of like, you know, I want to be wounded by that. I want to leave that limping and wounded and in awe of something grander than I am.